Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to configure multiple sites using ports in IS8 on Windows Server 2012 by search in semi powered by idcoz.com In our previous tutorial you have seen how we can configure multiple sites using multiple IP addresses Now in this tutorial you are going to learn how we can configure multiple sites using multiple ports before we start let's see what we are going to do in this video tutorial we are going to assign a separate port number to a same IP address for each website here you can see the IP address which is same for all websites and a port number which is different for all websites this is a Windows Server 2012 machine the IP address of this server is 192.168.1.109 First we are going to download the websites which we are going to configure in this tutorial. I have already uploaded the website so that you can also download it from here. You can also find this link at the description of this video. Now after opening this page, click on the 6 number link which will be over here. This will open up a Google Docs. Click on file and then click on download. And then click on save. Click on open folder. I am going to copy this file onto the desktop and let us open the zip file click on file explorer and copy the folder file onto the desktop ok now let's close this inside this folder we have four different websites which we are going to configure in IIS 8 all the folders contain one website page this is index.htm ok Let us open up the USA folder. Inside there is a index.htm file. Now I am going to copy this file inside the inetpub root directory. So let us open a new window. Go to inetpub www root and I am going to delete this file. Ok. And now I am going to copy this into inetpub root directory let's go back and let us delete this folder USA click on delete now we have left with three sites let's go back in inetpub folder and I'm going to close this one then I'm going to move this folder into inetpub folder as you can see over here okay so we got our three sites inside inetpub folder now let us close this too I'm going to move this file into the recycle bin as we don't require this one anymore ok let us open server manager from the server manager I'm going to open internet information service manager click on tools and go to internet information service from the IS manager expand the server node expand the sites select the default website and click on browse this will open up the internet explorer with the website just hold on for a second now as you can see the site has been open let's remove the local host and type the IP address that is 192.168.1.109 which will also open the same website let's hit enter ok as you can see still it is opening the same website now let's close the Internet Explorer and we are going to configure our other three websites but before that let me show you one more thing from the default website let's click on bindings here you can see the HTTP is binded with port 80 if I click on edit you can configure any other port of your choice now from the IP address drop down you can select the IP address of your choice by default it is selected all unsigned IP addresses now let's click on cancel and close so let us configure our three other websites on the sites folder right click and then click on add website ok on the site name enter a descriptive name in our case it will be UK 
okay and the path go to C drive inet pub then sites multiple IP and select the UK folder as you can see the path and on the port number dialog box enter 4 times 7 this will be our port number to access this website now this server only have one IP address that is 192.168.1.109 so either I can select the IP address or I can keep all unsigned IP address so I will go with the all unsigned IP addresses and let's click on OK as you can see this site has been configured now let's configure the second site that will be India once again right click on the site folder and click on add website let's type India and give the physical path to the folder that will be inet pub sites multiple IP and India click OK enter the port number that is 4 times 8 now click on OK now we are going to configure the fourth and the last website once again right click on the sites folder and then click on add website ok the site name will be Canada once again let us give the path C drive inet pub site multiple IP Canada click ok let's enter the port number that is 4 times 9 then click ok now let us browse all of the sites which we have configured open internet explorer let's type the IP address of the website that is 192.168.1.109 this is our default website which is working on port 80 the name of this web page is USA products now let's change the port number for this website I'm going to type 4 times 7 ok hit enter and as you can see the name has been changed to UK products now let's change the another port that will be 4 times 8 as you can see this is Indian products and the last one that is 4 times 9 ok hit enter and once again Canada products so all of the websites are working on same IP address but on different ports once again let's open the IS if you want you can also change the port number let me show you how it's done let's select the site that is UK and then click on bindings here as you can see it is showing HTTP binding with port number 4 times 7 click on edit and then enter the port number let's say 4 times 5 and then click on OK now click on close once again let's open the browser and type the IP address and the port number now as you can see this site is working on different port that is UK products if I try to open this site with the earlier port number it will give me an error let's check it out that is 4 times 7 ok let's hit enter and as you can see it is showing me page cannot be displayed let's close the internet explorer so this completes our this tutorial hello friends thank you for watching our this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video share it with your technical IT friends if you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or catch me on Google Plus Hangout Facebook Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Search in Semi powered by ITZOG.com and you are watching this on YouTube channel Peter Kreis.